My name is Uriah Faber. I'm a professional fighter for the UFC, and I've been collecting the finest fight stories from around the world. I'm a connoisseur, if you will. So sit back, relax, and enjoy fight stories. I was in New York. I'm doing my laundry, right? And I'm at a laundromat and I'm lazy, so I put my laundry in the dryer and then I leave to get a drink. I come back, my clothes are not in the dryer. <laughs> I walk out and there's some Puerto Rican dudes with a trash bag, no joke. <laughs> they're walking down the street and I'm noticing that they're throwing shirts of mine out, like they too good to wear my shirt. So I'm like, excuse me, player, those are my clothes. So they start running down the street and I start chasing them. Now, I'm with one of my boys, we catch up to them. And I'm like, dog, y'all got my clothes. And they're like, blah, 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 fuck you. So I'm facing one dude, right? Yeah. And the other dude is on my side, but I think that my boy got him. Unfortunately, I didn't know that he was a so, <laughs> so what happened was, I'm squared up on this one dude, the other dude comes with a Corona bottle, hits me in the eye right here. Wow. I still got the scar right here. Wow. Anyway, I grabbed his boy and started messing him up. Now, I didn't know that my boy had already started running off, right? So his boy, right, hit me in the back of the head. So I chased him down the street, right? And I don't know what happened, but I grabbed a mop handle for some reason. <laughs> so I'm running down the street. You're about to New clean York. house, that's no. why. Okay, I catch up to him and he has a New York Mets jacket on. I grabbed him by the I Mets jacket and I'm beating him with the mop handle. <laughs> now, this is no joke. An old Jewish lady is walking up the street and she's like, excuse me, sir. They would probably work harder if you didn't beat them like that. <laughs> no joke, that gave the guy enough time, because I didn't want to beat the guy right in front of an old Jewish lady. So, so he has enough time to run away, but I still got his jacket. But he must have ran away and called the cops. The cops and the ambulance show up, right? So I'm walking back up to the cops, because I'm like, I'm not going to jail, because these guys started it, because they throwing my clothes out. And they're like, dog, you're like bleeding. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And they're like, yes, you are. You have blood coming from your eye. And know how when you're in the zone and you don't even know, and then once yeah. they said it and you calm down a little yeah, bit, like, it's like, oh, I can't see. Oh, right. right. So they like, okay, so they like stitched up my eye. But the funny part is I had a comedy show to do that night in New York. I go to the comedy show, I'm on stage and I'm telling people what just happened and I'm wearing the guy's jacket. People are sitting there like, this is bull crap. And I'm like, know how I can prove this is true? I will dig in his pockets. He had a cassette tape of Ricky Martin. <laughs> no joke. I was like, if y'all don't think this is true, I will give you this Ricky Martin tape as proof that I had no idea and this is his jacket. <laughs> and that's my fight story. Uh, that's awesome. You're right. Hey, Amazing, my much man. Much love, dog. Thank you for spending some time and telling that story. We needed to hear that. I didn't need to hear it again because now, <laughs> now my eyes hurting again. <laughs> I think the moral of the story here is never leave your clothes unattended at the laundromat.